Hey guys, I'm back with another action figure review, and this time we're going to take a look at the DC Universe Classics All-Stars Batman. This is obviously the black version of Batman, all black, and um, this is the All-Star release, which was Wave 16 of DC Universe Classics from February 2011. Now, he was originally released in uh, Wave 10, which was the Imperiex Wave, in October 2009. So, in that wave, he obviously had a a build-a-figure piece for Imperiax, but in this All-Stars wave, he does not have a build-a-figure piece. Um, so we're going to take a look at him. Um, I don't have the package, but I do have his accessories, so I will go with, through those first and uh, yeah, talk about some price as well. This is another Batman from my boyfriend's collection. He has upwards of 12 now, I think, which is, I, I think bat the Batman will literally make up about half of his collection. But, um, yeah, so this guy actually goes for really varying degrees of price. Um, if you go for him loose on eBay, you'll find him, you can find him for like 10 bucks, you know, 12 bucks, something like that. But if you're looking for him in the package, you're going to be wanting to, you better, you're going to be spending like upwards of 50 bucks. I don't know why. Um, it's more like 40 or so, and then it depends on if you're looking for the All-Star version versus the um, Imperiax Wave. So, very strange. I'm not sure why he goes for so much, especially considering that, um, as far as I know, most people actually don't prefer the uh, all-black suit for Batman. So, an interesting turn of events there. <laughs> but, uh, let's take a look at his accessories. Um, now, I have... I do believe because he was in the All-Star Wave, he came with a figure stand. Um, the way my boyfriend kind of deals with his um, collection is he, he opens up, his, you know, when he buys a figure, he opens it up, puts it on a shelf, and takes any of the accessories he doesn't want to display it with and any figure stands or build a figure pieces and throws them in a shoebox right away. And um, so he, they're not, you know, if he doesn't remember what they're from, then he, whatever. But I, so he has this figure stand that we are pretty certain does come with this Batman. So, if that is the case, it's just one of the blue DC Universe figure stands. Now, I'm pretty sure it did come with it because this was um, a, f a wave that didn't have uh, a Build-A-Figure piece. And I could not, uh, looking at his DC Universe collection, I couldn't find any other figure that this stand could have belonged to. So, yes, I think that is accurate. Um, so then he does come with two accessories. Uh, he has a Batarang, which he's holding, and he also has a bat computer, which I'll show you first here. Um, pretty cool, actually. It's just this metallic blue little, you know, plastic piece that opens up, and, you know, you've got these little details in here. You've got little bat symbols and buttons and lights and whatever. You can see the um, dots up here. And this little line make it look like um, you know eyes and a mouth, so it's really kind of cute. Uh, it is all you know sculpted, so it's very it's very textured. Um, really cool accessory. So I like that. This is also sculpted. Nice piece there. And then the battering. See if I can just steal that from his hand. It is also this metallic blue color. And, um, just got, a, like, a dot of yellow in the center. Both sides. So that looks really good. I mean, you know, it's a nice shape. It fits, it's a nicely in scale with, with the figure. Um, so, another nice accessory. And I do think he displays him with this, with this accessory. So, yeah. So we'll take a look at the Batman now. Um... <clears throat> So he's actually a really nice figure, and if you're a fan of the black suit, um, definitely worth having. Uh, my boyfriend actually does like this suit, so, um, you know, he's happy to have him in his collection. And he looks quite a bit different from the rest of the Batman in his collection. Um, I, I think it's a nice, I think it's a nice suit, and, um, you know, I, I mean, I, my personal favorite is the black and gray, um, which, oh, I I don't have a DC Universe Classics version, but I have my Legacy Modern Edition Batman, which is the gray and black, so we will show him. Let me just straighten him up here. 
Now, so this 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 guy's body is not um, the same as the DC Universe Classics All Black Batman because again he's not the DC Universe Classics um, body. He is on the DC Superheroes Batman body, and I don't know why this guy doesn't want to stand. Sorry guys, seems to be a little back heavy. So. Yeah, so this Batman that I have, the gray and black, is a little bit shorter because the DC superheroes figures were smaller and it is a different body shape here. Um, but, yeah, you, can, you know, just a little different, just a little comparison for you. Um, now, my modern Batman, I did a head swap um, thanks to Electric Vendor 1, who sent me DC Universe Classics Batman head. Now looking at it, um, it actually looks like it might be a slightly different sculpt. No, I think they're the same. This one just looks like it has a thinner head for some reason. So yeah, they do have the same head, I think. <laughs> but otherwise, yeah, different body molds, and as you can see, he is a bit shorter. It's a little, a little bit of a bummer that the DC superheroes were smaller. If you want to display them with DC Universe Classics figures, but whoops. This Batman wins. <laughs> but yeah, so back to this guy. I'll just show you, you know, so this is the head up close. Pretty standard Batman sculpt, head sculpt. Good ear length. <laughs> um, you know, so he's got the yellow oval bat symbol. Pretty classic looking. Nice slim belt with the capsules um, that don't go all the way around. Mattel, cheap, but nice belt nonetheless. It could be like a slim profile Batman belt. I do personally like the pouches, but this actually does look quite nice if you're going for a specific look. His boots are sculpted, um, the pointy boots. You can't really see because everything's black but they're glossy, and the figure is kind of a semi-gloss. Uh, yeah, you can kind of see that. So those are sculpted. And he has the spikes. These spikes are quite long, I think. I feel like they're pretty long. But, okay, yeah. Um, typical, you know, rubber cape mold. Looks good. Nice and solid, got all the folds in it, goes all the way around the neck very nicely, held down nicely. And yeah, so the, the gloves and the boots are glossy black. And the figure, um, as well as, you know, the cowl and the, the cape are kind of a semi-gloss, I suppose. They do have, you know, a bit of a sheen, but they're not glossy glossy so uh, a slight contrast in you know appearance but not anything crazy so yeah um, I guess I'll go through articulation the head was all the way around nice and smooth um, it's pretty much all the way down there chin to chest and it goes up eh, not much the shoulders go all the way around, in and out, bicep swivel, single jointed elbow, and wrist rotation. Seems to be a bit tight. Um, see it on this wrist? Yeah, this wrist goes all the way around. So, there we go. You got an ab crunch. Also pretty tight on this figure. Um, swivel, the T-jointed legs, in and out, up and in and out, up and down, front and back, whatever, <laughs> cut above the knee, I feel like you guys can't see anything that's going on because everything's black, <laughs> but, sorry guys, um, single knee, and a bit of ankle movement, whoa, tight, there you go. So, get him 
closed here. Yeah, I mean, I think that's really all there is to say. You know, it's a very typical, you know, DC Universe Classics uh, Batman book. Um, you know, just just a different uh, color, basically. I think I do believe that he wears this this belt on other Batman figures. I, I he looks ridiculous, but I, he's standing so I'm like, <laughs> uh, yeah. But you know, nice figure. If you're a fan of the all black suit, maybe from the movies, um, a lot of people say this looks like the Michael Keaton Batman. So that's you know, if if, if you like that, then maybe he's worth picking up. And you know, he's cheap enough that if you get him loose on eBay, you know, if you can get him for like 10 bucks, that's nice if you just want to add another Batman suit to your collection. So, good looking, good looking figure. And, um, yeah. So, uh, that was my review of the DC Universe Classics All-Stars Batman, the all-black Batman. And I hope you guys enjoyed. So, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon, guys. Bye.